Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to give you a quick guide on how to get some more memory slots. Spells are, of course, a fantastic part of Elden Ring, but to the beginning of the game, you don't have too many spell slots, so you can only carry so many. So in this video, I want to go through where you can find six memory stones, which the items where, when collected, increase your memory slots, thus allowing you to carry more spells. So for the casters out there, this is one for you. So if you do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if you found any more of these. And of course, do be sure to keep it locked for plenty more. Or Elden Ring. Now for the very first one, we'll be going over to the bottom portion of Limgrave. We'll be going down to Ordis's Rise, this location you can see marked on the map right now. The first thing you need to do is go over to the building and you need to interact with the book outside. Following this, you then need to find and attack three spirit turtle looking things. So I will let the footage run in the background so you can see it. The very first one is quite simply straight outside, incredibly easy to find. The second one, if you run around the back of the tower, into the sort of pond area, it's actually invisible, but you can sort of see the uh, the water moving around it. If you hit in the sort of location you see right now, there will be a second one. And if you then run back to the sort of tower itself, right by the stairs, just inside the bushes, is the third turtle. Once you've done that, the barrier to Ordus's rise will then disappear. You can then simply climb the ladder to the very top, take the staircase, open the chest, and there's your memory stone. Following on from there, super easy one, you may have already picked this one up, but if you go over to Round Table Hold, you can quite simply go over to the Twin Maiden Husks, and you can then go and purchase the Memory Stone from them for 3,000 runes. Super easy, but one you definitely shouldn't miss. Following on from there to location number three, in order to do this one, you will need to have completed Carrier Manor, because of course, once you defeat the final boss, it'll give you access to the back courtyard, which is where you'll find Rani's Tower and a few other towers as well. In order to claim this one, you'll need to begin the start of Rani's questline, which of course is the questline needed to get the Moonlight Greatsword. You don't need to complete it, you simply need to go up, speak to her, and then once you've spoken to her and agreed to serve her, you will then run down, interact with the three spirits, the Smithy, Blade, and of course, Celevis as well. Once you've done all three of those, of course, if you want an in-depth look at that, you can check out our Moonlight Greatsword guide, but basically, speak to those three, run back upstairs, speak to Rani again, and then following this, Celevis's tower will be open so you can then go over walk in the doorway and you can climb the ladder go to the top there'll be another chest and again open that for your next memory stone For the next one, we are going over to the Converted Tower. This is up in Leonia, so of course you need to go to the western portion of the lakes. And you then want to go to this location here. Only this time what you want to do is instead of going inside the tower, you want to go and climb the right sort of broken down wall on the side. Do a little bit of parkour, work your way up to the top. And then from the back, you can then jump onto the roof. You can then go from this roof and you can then work your way left around the tower. It'll basically give you access to the staircase, which again, climb the staircase, go inside. There's a chest and surprise, surprise, there is a memory stone. Now for the fifth one, we'll be going all the way over to the right portion of the map to Kaled, and this time we'll be going over to Lena's Rise, or Lenny's Rise, however you want to say it, basically this location here. Now for this one, of course, the door is unfortunately closed, but that does not mean to say we cannot enter. What you need to do is go around the back of the tower, and then what you actually want to do is use this sort of jumping pad, which of course you use on the back of your horse, but instead of using it to jump up on the mountain, which seems like the conventional use, we actually want to turn around and use it to jump up onto the roof of this building. Or not quite the roof, basically towards the roof, but then in doing so, you'll then fall down onto the balcony, and then you're basically sneaking inside. We're basically sort of breaking and entering. Basically get inside, walk up to the top, take the elevator, and again, same principle, take the staircase up, there'll be a chest at the top, open that, and that is your memory stone. And then finally, for the sixth one, of course, if you have gone through the Rhea Lucaria Academy, of course, the second sort of main story area, then before you get to the sort of final boss of this area, there is a pre-boss, should we say. I will not show you what it is again, so you can enjoy it for yourself, but basically go through this fog door you see here. And once you go through, defeat the boss that is inside. And when you defeat it, you will get a memory stone. So there you have it. There's a little rundown on where to get six memory stones to increase your spell slot so you can cast even more awesome spells. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Again, if you did, then a like would be super appreciated. If you want to know where to get some awesome spells for your caster, then click on this video and be sure to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring.